these are actually all journals. I have my iPad that I journal just personal stuff is a bullet journal. So productivity. I write down what the week is, to-do list, notes. It's pretty cool. It's fun to like design these. That's a bullet journal. I've got this journal, which is basically like um, sermon notes from church. Can you even see these? I should probably read through these. I've got this journal. <laughs> this one, this one's fun. This one is actually upside down. This one is a dream journal. I like to write down my dreams, so I started this dream journal. Mary got it for me. Some of these are pretty hilarious. Also, I added um, a prayer journal into the dream journal. And then this one is my newest journal. We were in the mountains and we stopped at this little light like, trading post shop and they had a lot of interesting, cool things in it. And this was one of the items that I bought. It just looks really fun. That it's like kind of a velvet feel. You open it up, it's got this like organic like paper. Super interesting. So I was like, oh, I gotta get that. But here's the problem. I'm not consistent with any of these journals. I bought this in December and I've been trying to figure out like what exactly I wanna use it for. Cause I don't know if you could tell I don't think I have enough journals. I also have my phone, which has a journal app on it, which I actually write down everything that I did at work that day. So it's like a work journal. So I bought this in December and I was planning on making a journal video. And guess what? Caleb, he just uploaded a journal video. I sent him a text telling him that I was literally gonna make one. What do I have all these journals for? That's my main question. Four, five, six separate things to write down just my internal thoughts in. But that leads me to my main point. Uh, what is the point of this journal? One idea I had was, let me show you an example. This is the wrong size, but I have been getting into film photography. That's a whole other topic. But anyways, I like getting prints and I thought it'd be fun if this was almost like a photo journal type of thing. This size is way off, but just imagine for a second. You open it up, you got the picture right here and some notes about it. Like, what was the day like? What was my mood like? What's the point of this picture? What are my thoughts on this picture? And it's just sort of like a photo journal. I thought that'd be really fun. Anyways, everyone that has come over to the channel recently and hit subscribe, I appreciate it a ton. Um, hope to make just fun videos for you guys. And I need to ask you what your preference is. Option A, would you rather see once a week, kind of a little bit more thought out videos and vlogs, or would you prefer even multiple times a week, but they're pretty just chill and not a whole lot going on and a little bit shorter. Which one, which one, which one you want to see? <laughs> One thing I am gonna try and do on a consistent basis is upload a video once a month or once every other month. That's more of like, I wanna say project, but I don't know if that's the right word, but one that's like more intentional than all the other videos and one that takes a lot more thought and planning and a lot more editing into it. And I'm already trying to think of the first one, which I, I think I wanna do sort of like a car camping adventure and with or without Barrett. I think that would be fun. We'll see. All right, so if I go the photo journal route, I'm gonna have to start taking more pictures, which is fine. If you didn't notice, I changed the channel header. I actually used one of the photos I got in Vermont. I think it'd be fun to change that channel header every once in a while to just a picture that I thought looked nice. Uh -huh. This shot is too far away for you to see anything. I just recently got this Canon AE-1 film camera. I'm shooting on black and white right now. So I'm excited to see what this film looks like. This was the film camera I was using before. I bought this from Drew. Drew's actually the person who introduced me into the film world. I actually really enjoyed taking pictures like as a kid. 
When I was a kid, I actually thought that being a photographer for a National Geographic magazine would be like the best job. I used to read through National Geographic magazines from time to time and just the photos in there were so cool. Oh, Kev. So for the photo journal, I think that's the direction I'm gonna try to go, at least in the, right now. Obviously it takes a while to go through a roll of film and get them printed. As I go, I'll update you guys on the photo journal and when I get the first one in there. I'm working on this new trick. Ollie to nose grind and then nolly flip out. Oh, that was basically it, just not very clean. Cut the cameras. It's currently 9.45 at night, so not that late, but everybody's in bed. Another internal thought is this table here. I made it for fingerboarding and just this massive park, but I really only use that one obstacle. So I don't think I need this entire park. And I made this like diorama as like a central park piece, which was a lot of fun, but it's, is, it, is it necessary? I feel like I could shrink this whole park by about 90%. It would still be fun and there'll be a lot more room to do things in the office. Maybe that'll be the next episode. I destroyed my fingerboard park. Plunger Roonies. Let's stick this right on someone's face. It's gonna be so funny. Right, guys? Come here, John Wick. Oh, he's shooting at me. Perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, got him. <laughs> Who's that? Bunga, dude. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, I see you. Look, my gun wasn't shooting, or I think. I don't know. <laughs> if you missed the first episode of sort of the Dad Vlogs reboot, this is all about basically like a growth documentary journal. Whoa, I just connected the dots. This is a video journal. That is the one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seventh journal style that I have. It all makes sense.